You're I fine. have a question. I have a I have a, a, a genuine question. What are your thoughts on people who say they skate but are actual posers in real life? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> alright, alright, good, 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 good. Or I'll stop, stop, stop for a second, or just stop for a second, all right? Okay, that's an attack on me. I was gonna say that Wait. seems a very pointed question. Wait. <laughs> okay, so I used to live in Silver Lake. Yeah. And me and my friend <laughs> opened up a skate store called Juve, Juve, Juve. My best friend at the time was a guy named Laban Fidias. You know who he is? Yeah. Right, so. But he tried to teach me how to do it, right? <laughs> wow. Wait, so are I you would... juggling or ollieing? What's going on? <laughs> I never learned how. Yeah. We can help you. We no, can no. get you there. We can get you there. There is no way. You could ollie right now. We can definitely get you to ollie. Yeah. You can teach me how to ollie. In five yes. minutes. Yeah. Guaranteed video of you doing an ollie, the board's in the air, and you land it back on the board. Yeah, okay. Guaranteed. Okay. Pygmies were this? I, I, my head. Is this for a baby? What? Did you take your baby out? Oh, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wait, I'm not pressuring you. I'm just saying. I just don't know. You're not gonna hit your head. Are you sure? I'm gonna make sure of it. Okay. If you do the whip out thing, I'm gonna catch you. But you're not gonna do that. Like you can roll down the hill and shit, right? I can't. What? I can roll down a hill, yeah. <laughs> So if you stand on one, you're not in trouble right now. No, I don't think so. No. No, no, no. Wow. That's good. You told us you can't skate. Yeah, that, that's way better. Well, I don't have spinal bifida. I mean, <laughs> what? You look safe. Hey, you what do you mean safe? Like is in your like you're solid. You need you're to be solid on your oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. No. Oh, what's that called? You Nothing. Can... No, that's. <laughs> Let me just say something, okay? Let me just say something. Are you taping? I want to say this. Well, growing up, you know, I was friends with Chris Markovich. Yeah. These type, these type of guys, you know what I mean? They all tried to teach me. I just have a Korean body. I do. A lot of Korean I'm shaped like a thumb. Are good. That's not true. All That's right. impossible. All right. So I'll, I'll try. So I, I, I'll Ollie. Okay. All right. To, to be safe, before you start blasting into Ollie's, can you do this? Okay. That's do that. all I can do. Okay. No, and land back on the board and be safe. Okay. Just a little flick. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you, okay, sure. That's not an ollie, though. It wasn't right? an ollie. All your wheels are off, off the ground. ground. It did? Yeah. Oh. Big snap, give it a snap with your toe, oh. just enough to hit the tail, uh -huh. and then slide your foot at the same time. Slide where? This way? Oh, this, yeah. this foot, slide it. Oh my god. Oh. No faking concussions here. It's not allowed. You know, you know, like when you're at a security, like don't joke about bombs. Don't joke yeah, yeah. about don't joke about seizures on the ground. So that's okay. Dude, that was like this high too. No. Okay, so okay, we're gonna use the toe. Oh, wait, you're moving. You're gonna get a toe in the middle of the door. Same thing you did with the rest of the Ollie. Everything else is great. Pop. A little more pressure on the tail. Okay. The tail to pop. Okay. Oh fuck. Okay, so tail pop. So yeah. You didn't, you didn't do the thing Tony said, but you gotta flick your front foot. All right. After you, yeah. I, 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 I think I got some air there. Just yeah. get the tail to pop. So you hit the tail. Yeah. Sickness. That was an ollie. You're welcome. No. You get a fine. You're welcome. See, no one ever did. Those guys didn't do Markovich that. Markovich is shit. Markovich is a piece of shit, bro. <laughs> Make sure he's a dog shit person, man. What the Wait, fuck, no, yeah, Markovich? Yeah, yeah. Hold, on, hold on, Chris Markovich was was in my Trick Tips video as a teacher. I stand by him. He <laughs> no, he's a great guy. Right. I don't. Fuck you, Markovich. What a terrible teacher. Look what we made him do in a few <laughs> seconds. So, do you have anything I can drop into except for this? Come back okay. here. Because if you can go to the top, then yeah. But if Right. This one right here, that's the smallest one. Oh, there's no way I can do that. Don't have your foot in an ollie position for this foot. Have your front foot up a little bit more so you got a steadier uh, base. Move your front foot up. There you go. Almost. I didn't turn. You got out of it good though. 
I, mean, I, I had a little butterfly looks like I was in Magic Mountain or yeah, something. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was concerned as well. So, Bob, when I saw you, you were doing so, sort of kick turns on the ramp. Yeah. The only issue is you're doing this thing where it, a lot of people do it is, is when you're turning, your shoulder's staying behind. Oh, I see. So you, you got to commit trouble. your shoulder to the turn oh, and that I your see. body will you follow. Oh, I see. Okay. Because right now, if you do a kick turn, you're going to end up like this. Oh, okay. All right, so you want to keep it turning. Okay. So far, you're the best comedian I've ever yeah. seen. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, did, did Howie Mandel do it? No, yeah, no, he would not do it. He would not stand on one. And Ryan Sickler did a uh, fakey this high. He went here. And claimed it so hard. Ha! <laughs> like he, he did put the it mega ring. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. He put it at the end of his video, like, hey, boards backwards. Ah, don't go, boards backwards. It, my board, it will. <laughs> my board's bent right now. Oh, you have regular foot too, so yeah. Turn yeah, just put you. I might not even be able to do the. You foot. do this. Look, this it might take me take, take, take you ten times. I'm scared. You spot the landing right. and turn your shoulder into right. it. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, shit. that was good. Almost, man. almost, almost, almost. almost. No, it wasn't. Don't. That was good for a second. Yeah, yeah, that was legit. Do you oh. want to stop? Because that looked like it hurt. You two horigami, watch out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Name dropping motherfucker. We're doing it. Wait, you're doing it. It's for you. Ready? Yeah. Get your fucking Tony hot, man. Yeah, but he just Dude, I have not done that. I have not done this like I heard. Oh, you haven't? No. Oh, thank you so much for doing that for me. All right, I'll try. I almost had it, though. You did? You just yeah. didn't commit. That's your problem. Yeah. Wait, really? You posed. You think I bailed? Yeah. Okay. Don't bail. You know you did. Don't bail. <laughs> you commit. Don't know you're making it before you roll in. I'm going to channel Willie Santos. That's not bad. That was a good call. That's good. Yep. How many other names do you know? You're... Day One song. I know a lot. Oh, wow. You might want to channel Day One. Right. But Willie was in the game, Here you go. Wait. Yeah, you didn't bail that one. <laughs> <laughs> you started the, you started the turn too soon. I know, I know, I know. One more time. Stall a little bit. I stalled a little bit? No, stall a little more before you turn. Okay. Until you get to the paint. Yeah! Lawrence? This podcast, you might get a. a <laughs> well, you can CGI it. You don't want the award. You got it. What award? Oh, you're gonna get a big award. I'm one. already satisfied that I did that. It, no, that wasn't very good. But if you make that, oh, or one more time. I'll do one more time. I'll do one more. You'll be the future. Take two more. Look till you peak till turn and get on your toes more. You're you're leaning like towards your back more. So get over your toes more. You gotta bring your head back into the ramp. It's impressive. Stay low. Toes leaning. What else, man? That'll do. All right. Just trying to help. I know you are, but it's just your tone. Maybe it's your accent. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Yes! 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 We are even in! We did it! We, we did it! You might be the greatest skateboarder we've ever seen. Oh, Come I did, on! I did, I did, I did, I did. Wow! Oh, I did. That was All right. Oh, that was amazing. Woo! Oh, it yeah, feels so good when you do it. You know how like yeah, skaters, they try a, a trick a millions of times and they finally get it and they're happy? Thank you so much, Tony. That's what I, I can understand the feeling a little bit. That was really good. That was really, great. thank you. I don't know if this is a I'm better than Sickler, that's all I know, right? Oh, uh, way he better, might, If way he's better. trained for the next 10 years, he might not be as good as that. <laughs> that's how good you are. That was insane. That was good. Hey, Bucky, can I take a photo with you? <laughs> I got video of you as well. I know, but I want to take a photo. You gotta send me the shit. Look, look at me. Look at already setup. turning. Look at, look at already no, turning. No, it's good. It's about it. You, you didn't you, turn you, until you did wait. You set it up. Look at that style. And then yeah, you that's, commit. Yeah. Wow. You guys, you guys are about to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, bud. Ten minutes in. Huh? All I get a kick turn. That was so fun, dude. Thank you so much, guys. Where did you get off? I'm failing. Right? What? Who the fuck do you think you are? Like, with, like, what's the point, you know? And that's why I just really never did it, you know? But, um, wow. 
What? Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. We'll talk about it on the pod. You know how great I am, you know? If we have a birdhouse party, you want to be invited? Well, yeah. I mean, any party that involves high-level skateboarding, I would love to come to. Are you sweating from skating today? Yeah, man. I, I don't exercise. I don't move really. Yeah, you do. Much. You've oh. lost 20 pounds. Yeah, that was from um, trauma and um, COVID. Nice. <laughs> so, if you want to lose weight, trauma and COVID. You should oh, do an exercise yeah, video yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, Just get COVID. Uh, hey, yeah. welcome. Thank you yeah. so much. Thanks for Thanks having so. me. So this, this <laughs> you coming here started with us doing your podcast. Yeah, you guys came over. I couldn't believe it. And then um, you guys killed it on ours. But then I was just like, um, the other day I was playing Tony Hawk 1 and 2 again. Yep. And, and, I, and I wiped my memory so I could start from the beginning. Okay. You can, you can do that. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I see so, sorry, wash your face. Okay. No. I'm pretty dirty. Wait, but anyway, we, yeah, I don't want anyway, to. Anyway, and I was like, oh my God, Tony was in this garage. You know, anyway, um, so I was been, I've been thinking about it, and um, that's why I woke up super early, and um, I drove down here from L.A. Well, what you did was very impressive. I thought for sure that you were nowhere near as good as you are. Well, we got set up. We, we, we went skating. But yeah. what I want to say, this, okay. started, this started with us going on your podcast, and then there was this sort of somewhat of a challenge pose that he we could teach you. He talked a mean skateboard game. But, we could, but also that, that he said- He talked uh, some he, shit. He could never learn to ollie. And we said, we could help you teach it ollie. And he's like, others have tried. It's never going to work. And then there was this sort of loose challenge that you were going to come down here sometime. Uh-huh. And you did. Yeah, because I'm a man of my word. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, I just want to say something. I don't have your body. You have the perfect body for skateboarding. You're lean. I don't know about that. Yeah, but I'm shaped like a thumb. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I'm like a scallop or that, whatever. That you know hasn't I mean? stopped others. <clears throat> but yeah, but I came here and I was nervous. Yeah. What? Why? Well, because because of him. Not only just him, Bucky Lasix there. You didn't know he was gonna be. Here. I know, but when I dude, when I don't know, and I <laughs> that I made see you him, nervous. That makes it worse. Yes, you made me nervous. I do a little bit. Cool. You know what I mean? But there's a tension. We'll do you think about I'll later. beat you up? No, because I wouldn't. I would protect no. you. I feel like if we were in prison together, I would protect you. Yeah, yeah. but he's, I wouldn't. Make I think you... he's going somewhere else with this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't do that. You would protect me. Yeah, yeah, because I'd be your bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> to the people, I would say that. But when we're in the in the prison cell yeah, by ourselves, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. not my bitch. You're my friend. Yeah, you're my friend. All oh, right. But when we get out there, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're my bitch. Really? Yeah. Because so, for protection purposes. Well, okay. Because if right. you're not my bitch, you could be somebody else's. That's true. But I just feel like that in the cell that I would be your bitch as well. Right. Right. If you want to. <laughs> Anyway, you sorry, Tony. 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 Sorry, Tattooed on my head, like he has hair. You didn't know me <laughs> at all. So, okay, can I just say something? I am sorry. Which is fair. Uh, Who okay. am I? I, know, I'm, I don't no. believe I should be here. I'm just very no, fortunate. No, listen, and I go- I'm appreciative. I Googled you. Yeah. Right? You've done a lot of things. Yeah. You were a skateboarder, a DJ, a, 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 a radio personality in Australia, right? You're no, a stand up comic? No. <laughs> that's what it says on, on Google. I was on Sirius, Sirius XM. XM. That, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In Australia, I was famous for skateboarding. Skateboarding. My point is this, okay? Is just sorry. When I no, let's get so this out. I, like, well, I so get we this can out, move right? on. So when you guys came up, right? Yep. When Jason Ellis in my head, it didn't register because I didn't Google it at that point, right? So when I saw Tony's son, I go, "What's up, Jason Ellis?" Yep. Right? Yep. Then I look like a fool. Right, and I feel shame over that. You right? didn't look like it, a it fool. It didn't affect us. Like it might. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was with Miles. Miles was like, yeah, "Whatever, I'm not." Joking. I I don't think Miles was offended either. I no. just I I understand where I where I fit, and it and it doesn't it doesn't offend me that you don't know me. You got Tony Hawk on the show, and because I'm the co-host, I have to be there. Can I just say one thing then? Yeah, do right. a couple of things. But now that I know you, yes, and I research you, and also you're friends with a lot of my friends, yeah, and I talk to them about you and stuff, and that you're getting funny as a stand-up. And someone you, said that, yeah, yes, 
You I'm, try, I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. Hard. Big, you know how that, those words mean a lot. No, that's what people have told me, right? Yeah. That you're getting funny as a stand up, right? And this and that. So it's like, I have now a respect for you. Like, yeah. I feel like, oh, I'm sorry. I feel like you and I are peers, right? Yeah. So I, I, I'm, I come here humbly apologizing. Yeah, I, I just already accept it. Just yeah, fucking I accept, it. accept it. All right. Accept it. And I know that there's tension between us, it's, but I think it's in the sexual nature, but it's I, like, well, we, we, I, not, we don't have to talk about it. Can I say, yeah, yeah. This, Go I. Ahead. You're my favorite podcaster. You're my favorite celebrity in the world right now. So All I listen right. to your show. I listen Thank to you. Bad Friends. Thank you. I All feel right. like everything that happens on your shows that's funny is you. No offense okay. to everybody Thank else. You. You're really Andrew's good. not that good. I know. But, but <laughs> I know. And then for you to introduce yourself, like we met one time, and then the next time he we meet, I'm at uh, the Laugh Factory, and he comes in, and I'm talking to Brian Callen who is my friend and obviously been his friend way longer than me. Mm. But he comes in and grabs both of us by the wrists and walks us into a corridor. And I'm like, whoa, Bobby Lee knows me enough to grab my hand and Brian Callens. I'm now in this group of heavy hitting comedians. And you walk down the corridor and the first thing you do is you run in front of both of us and pull your pants down and show us your butthole. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa. We're really tired immediately. And then you grab they call, that you- the, they call that the Korean hello. Right. <laughs> okay, and that's a cultural thing. It's a, <laughs> it's a cultural it thing. It did make me feel less anxious around you. I was like, oh man, he's he sees me as Wait, an that's equal. A, that's an icebreaker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it was, was one way or the yeah. other. It was really but cool. the reason why is because I felt comfortable enough in front, in front of you as a comic. Yes. Like these are comics. Yeah. Right? So And you guys I always show each silly. other. Yeah, we always… Sh- I've seen everyone's penises right. and stuff and, and their buttholes. Yep. Right? And it's like a tradition. Yes. You know? It seems um, like that. Yeah, yeah. So I felt comfortable enough to do that. And if did I cross a boundary? Not, not at all. I okay. thought it was very funny. Okay, good. And that's then you all, tried to grab all, my junk as well. Never I thought did that. that was very never funny. Never did that. That's, that's insane. You did that. That's absolutely insane. You actually that, no, that's, that's assault. That, that's assault. That's assault, and that's insane. Yeah, yeah. I did not do that. And um, um that's weird. But anyway, um, or maybe I, I don't know. We'll talk about it later. But uh, yeah, yeah, I don't want to talk about it later. <laughs> all right. This is it. But so um. Well, hold on. We didn't even, like, you guys yeah, are talking about skateboarding. Skateboarding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As if okay. everyone knows yeah. what just happened. Okay, okay, okay. You came here, and right. the, the object, the, the, what I thought the directive was, we're teaching you how to ollie. And you're saying it's not possible, and whatever. We go down there, and you could kind of ollie. You had the motion, and then we got you to hit your tail, and you ollied. Within five minutes. Yep. Okay. It didn't it was very fe- impressive. I know, but it, I couldn't, like, when I think of ollie, Alling over like a trash bin or something. That's pretty big ollie though. Yeah, <laughs> you know that's, I mean? or, that's years. Oh, that is years. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that's like, but if you're saying that I got off the ground and We've that got was a, video proof, that we'll was a show. legitimate ollie. Yes. I feel happy, and that was my first Absolutely. ollie, yeah, fully legit, right? And then the kick turn was even more impressive because I wasn't sure that you well, should I, be. I feel offended a little bit because when I first started getting on the board, you guys were like, "Oh my god, you can get on a board!" Like I'm not. You but I mean? you presented yourself as as someone that's just inept, that, that can't do it at all. I don't have the body for it. I could never skate. Can, and then we saw you like, you're, you're skating. You're doing little kick. Uh, yeah, and you did an only impression on your in your studio that made me think you can't skateboard at all. So you kind of, yeah, you you kind did, of you, pump you, faked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You you're like, does it go like this? Ground. And I was yeah. like, whoa, no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not at all. But when I like mime sex, people go, oh, he doesn't know how to fuck. But when I'm in the bed… You're different, it. right? Yeah, I'm a machine. I get that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, so then I get so when so initially I was a little offended, but and then I started riding around. You guys made me feel comfortable. Okay, good. Put the little helmet on. Yeah. The kick turn thing. I literally like. I learned a new thing today. Yeah. And I, not that I'm you know ever gonna be able to drop in that thing. Probably not. Is that a challenge? No, I don't want you to die. <laughs> yeah. You, you think that I at my age at fifty I couldn't ever get to the point where I can drop in that I think thing. if you solely focused on skating transition ramps, maybe you could get there if you yeah. like it, But I'm talking about you're devoting your days to skating ramps and skating pools and doing kick turns up on top. Yes, you could, but it would be full time. Wow, okay. I don't have the time to do it. No. Yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah. A, lot of, a lot of stuff. I'm doing a lot of stuff. So what you're saying to me is, and that's what the art of, like that's why we're always in awe of skateboarding. Like when he did the 900, it's mm. like so like inconceivable mentally, you know what I mean, yep. to even think that a human being can do that, you know what I mean? And just by doing that little kick turn, 
It took every ounce of energy to do it. It was really dangerous. Do you know that? It is. It can be. For you, yeah. Why? You slip out and slip like out, yeah. right. you break and, your or, arm. Yeah, do it, do it, or or miss the miss the transition and pump and just end up on your we call it a Mr. Wilson. Just end up on your back. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've seen that on like Wicked Slam, like the Instagram accounts, Man. you know what I mean, where people really get hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um break their wrists. But I'm good at like I had that Jackie Chan thing. Not that it's not yeah, an Asian no, thing. You're, you're, you're it's not an Asian thing, but I'm I c I know how to like Roll a lot of things because yeah, I was yeah. on the wrestling team. So, oh, you wrestled? Oh yeah, man, a lot. Oh yeah. So you're you're doing in high school. Your 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 face is telling me that you're a very good wrestler. Well, I could, we're different weight classes. So I don't want to wrestle you, but right. I know how to do a fireman's. I know how to do a double leg, single leg. You do? What? Yeah. What? I want to grapple you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know some jujitsu. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Why? Why? Why do you? Why are you so? Because you don't. You don't. You don't. You talk about you how you don't do anything. Yeah. Who is just idle and static and not. Athletic <laughs> you always talk not... about restaurants and stuff. <laughs> you know, I love food as well. Yeah. Fuck face. I, oh, can I swear I'm sorry? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Why I am I a fuck too. face? Yeah, I'm sorry, guy. You talk about that's what that's that's how you know <laughs> yeah, me. Let's yeah, be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is, is that I have. Can I just defend myself real quick? Yeah. In high school, I was on the tennis team. I was on the wrestling team. I know how to run. Yeah, I, right. I know how to like do things. It's that through comedy, right? I just don't need to do those things. So I just eat and sleep in. And I used to smoke cigarettes and you, you know, quit smoke, all that. Though I quit all that. Yeah, yeah and yeah. lost twenty pounds. Yeah. yeah do you feel lot, like man. your comedy is partly physical though? That that a lot of this stuff. Yes. Is- yes. I mean, um, as I get as I get older, not as much, but I can still I can still walk around. You know what I mean? And I'll do some physical things. You know what I mean? But um, when I was younger, I was crazy. Like I'd run through the crowd. And, and my, my whole act was just showing people my genitals and stuff. <laughs> and you don't do that anymore? No, the culture changed. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he just does that to his peers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which and is, you're a peer. Yeah. There In comedy, it's a short career, but that's been the highlight of it so far. <laughs> what do you like about it? Uh, well, I only just sort of got good enough to have like a, a crowd really freak out on everything I said. And when I walked off, I was like, oh, shit, this is like, uh, I feel high. Like, this is what I, it's about. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. Because I was just, I was like, I can't do it. And then whenever mm-hmm. I can't do something that seems attractive to me, yeah. I'm all in. Because it's hard. It's really hard. People make it out like, you're a funny guy. Just get up there and talk. It's not like that. You got to like put in a lot of work and and refine things. And I'm like, oh, wow. So to me, it's just like skateboarding. Yeah, but the hardest part of it- With no though, pain. You did it. It's like this, let, let me say something. Going up on stage at a comedy club for the first time yeah. is probably the scariest thing one can do. I agree. It's so scary. I've fought UFC fighters. I've been in pro skateboard contests. I've been in a mega ramp contest and I've never been more nervous <laughs> than when I than when I was about to go out in yeah. front of the two most nerve wracking things. Ryan Sickler got me a gig where it was 600 people. And before that I was at the dime bar. Yeah. So when I walked out, I was like, I can't, this is not, my head's gonna pop. I'm gonna faint. I'm gonna faint and not say anything. <laughs> and then Whitney Cummings asked me to come out in front of 1300 people. And that was like- Here the, in San Diego. That, that was, was like the- Did you go? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And you, you went up? Yeah. How much time did you do? 15. And wow. it, was the, it was terrifying. It was terrifying. Cool. Were was you very nervous cool. for him? Yeah, but they were with him <laughs> from the get go. Oh, wow. Like from, the, from when he walked out, they were with him. Oh, man. It's Alice, man, representing Hawk Wolf. Check it out. Uh, fellas, have you started spring cleaning yet? The carpets need cleaning, the drapes need dusting. And your lawn needs mowing. Spring has sprung. And the global leaders in below the waist grooming have the best tools for cleaning aisle five in your pants. Time to clear out your winter bush and join the other four million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. By going to manscaped.com for 20% off. That's free shipping and 20% off for everybody if you use the code HAWKWOLF. Listen to me, you fools. I'm 50, and I'm aerodynamic. I shred, I cut wind. Sometimes if I want to have a hairy chest, I'll have one, God damn it! And don't even think I won't get a hairy ass from time to time. 
It's good for traction when you need to get your ass to the ground and feel the grindstone. Grindstone. But seriously, listen to me. I've got it. I've used it. I have no hair. I have beards. I have hairy chests. I shave my arms. I shave my legs. I shave my toes. I shave my balls. I shave my taint. I shave more things than anybody. I shave my eyebrows. I, I don't shave my eyelashes. But I have plucked a couple in my time. All hair. I am a specialist. And this is a top quality product that I use all the time. I don't even want to say it, but it's true. I would use it if they didn't sponsor the podcast. But I do appreciate that they do. Use my promo code. 20% off right now. Al, sorry. Our promo code. Shipping. Use Hawkwolf, everybody. Manscaped.com. 20% off. Free shipping with the code Hawkwolf at Manscaped.com. It's time to throw your old hygiene habits and upgrade your life. Yeah. There you go. Jason Ellis for Hawk vs. Wolf. Talking about Element. A electrolyte drink. Comes in a powder form. You put it in your water. You can put it in juice or whatever it is you want. And uh, it's a very serious electrolyte. Sodium, potassium, magnesium. With no sugar, no color, no artificial ingredient, no gluten. None of the fillers drink that gets you hydrated, gets you back on your feet. Some people get dehydrated, get headaches and stuff. Uh, you, If you want to dodge things like that in your life, grab yourself some of these and stay hydrated, stay smart. Uh, Element is, they're so sure of their product. Um, if they're, They know that you're going to come back and they're offering a free Element sample pack. That's eight single serving packets free. Just cover the cost. It's five bucks US customers. Get your drink, get it at drink element. That's L M N T dot com slash Hawk Wolf. This deal is not available on their regular website. You must go to D R I N K L M N T dot com slash Hawk Wolf. Uh, it, it's totally risk free. If you don't like it, you get your money back. These guys believe in it. Thank you. Wow. That was the most surreal experience. Well, what was your first? Ever. Uh, stand up. So I was at, um, San, uh, you know, I'm from San Diego, by the way. You know that, yep. right? Yeah. I'm from Poway. And um, I lived in La Jolla. And um, the first, I was at a coffee shop called Thomas Paine Coffee Shop in San Diego, like Claremont. I don't know where it was. And um, my friend Randy was signing up to do open mic. And he just said, Sh- just show up to support me. And he went up. And I, I remember Randy walking off going, Wow, that was amazing. He ate it. It was terrible. But just the idea that he would choose to do that yeah. was just so, like, brave. Yeah. And then the host goes, next up, Bobby Lee. He had signed me up. <laughs> right? And I just walked up there. And just started like, talking. Do you think you walked up because based on his reaction? Or you were going to do it anyway? I, I, I mean, it was already in my head for a couple of years. So I had already kind of in my head, like, if I ever went up, I would do this, this, and this. Right? So it's like, you know… Here, here's the thing with me is I always lived in fear as a kid because my dad was so abusive. I was always scared. You know what I mean? That like, I just would, couldn't ask girls out on a date. I was pretty much an incel. You, know I, I mean? you said you had, uh, you dug a hole in the ground and, and put your penis in it on your latest podcast. That's how desperate you were. Well, I fucked the ground. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to put, I, I tried to put <laughs> you know it in it. Yeah, yes. yeah, I fucked dirt. That yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Earth. There's that angle. It's God. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> it's what you know. It's you, know what you mean? think he's I, into that? No, no. I don't know if he's into it, but it's like it's a part of his world. Yeah. I mean, why is it wrong? I, why I, is it wrong? I can't say it. It's natural. natural. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. yeah. So anyway, um, what's better than that? Than you know, what I mean, a fruit or you know, I know dudes that have like microwaved like meat. And mm. had sex with that. Like, I'm not going to oh. do that. That's weird. Oh, it's man. a waste of money. No, the ground yeah, is better for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. So I was pretty much an incel. And so... Um, There's any I... ground out there that wants to slip into Bobby's <laughs> DMs? <laughs> Hit him up, <laughs> bud. <laughs> any butchers? <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. So anyway, so when I was 23, right, I, I kind of like um, was... I looked in the mirror and I went... Because I had no college education. Yeah. I had no future. You know what I mean? But I was sober. I was going to a lot of AA meetings back then and stuff. And I just went, please. I looked in the mirror. It's like, do something. So when he, they called my name at the Thomas Pink Coffee Shop, 
I just walked up there and it was terrible. But I remember getting off going, getting off stage going, that was the first time you ever did anything yeah. to do something for yourself. It felt real and something good. Scary. It was, it changed everything. Yeah. And then um, about a couple of months later, I got a job at the La Jolla Comedy Store as a doorman. So you were in the comedy world. You were hanging out. Yeah, I mean, even before that, like, I would go to the improv and right. watch, like, Brian Regan or Bobcat okay. Goldwith or whatever, you know what I mean? But um, when I was a doorman at the store, they used to put me up on Saturday nights, and this actually happened. So I, I, I imagine I've never really gotten women before, mm -hmm. right? So I was on stage, and there was this beautiful girl in the front, blonde, blue mm -hmm. eyes. She lived in Oceanside. And I get off stage, and I kind of, she was walking in front of me. It was after, because I was a host. So after the show, I said, good night, everybody. We're all walking out. And Princess Diana had died, mm. right? And, I, and she, you could tell that she was sad about it. So I just go, hey, I'm so sorry that you feel so sad about Princess Diana or whatever. So I was mopping up the floor like an hour later. And the, there was no cell phones at the time. And they, the club, the manager said, hey, Lee, someone's on the phone. I picked the phone. It was the girl. And the next thing you know, I was in her mom's closet with her. Mm. And I was doing the 69. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it, right? So yeah. fun. I'm oh, in twice. the closet? She's done yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I remember like doing it. It's probably it, the best place. Going, looking up at the sky with tears. I cried. I a little, I, she, her ass is right here, right? Can I swear on this? You already you said that. You called me a fast You called me a fuck <laughs> Sorry. I, was, and I remember crying and I remember going, like my face was like, Shaking, going, thank you, Jesus. Like, I was, it was the mo, it was the greatest night <laughs> of my life. Anyway, so that changed everything. You know what I mean? And I just kept doing it. And now here I am. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got that was a pretty big jump, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're saying I got into comedy because hot chicks will sleep with me. Ever since then, I've just been into it. Yeah, it I mean, feels like, but it feels like that was more incidental to the joy that you had, and yeah. then and then you're like, wait, but this also yeah. is huge. So yeah, money and success and all that stuff is aftermath, right? It's I mean, it's a product of you doing it, right? Um, I think I would still be doing stand up if I wasn't getting women right. and I wasn't making money, but um, yeah, it's been it changed my life. I mean, I went from being I felt like a full blown loser. Right to hmm. being um, somebody yeah. or something, you know what I mean. Um, I still have issues and stuff about myself, you know what I mean. I think we all do. Yeah. I think comics do more than the average person. I I can tell. I feel like I kind of every time I meet somebody and understand a little bit more who they are, I'm like, oh, I I'm in the right spot. <laughs> like but also, are, so so much of that breeds comedy. Yeah, yeah, because you got to laugh at yourself. Yeah, and yeah. sometimes it's very painful. The stuff or or that's funny. your that's your distraction, or that's your that's your. But you have it too, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you have a thing sure. where it's like you've done all this fucking shit. Like, you're like the number one guy, right? I mean, that's just my opinion, right? You're just, you've done more for skateboarding than anyone else on planet Earth, right? And, yeah. and yet you're still doing shit and striving. And I think it's something that you're trying to prove to yourself. Yeah, always. I mean, I def definitely, I, I, <laughs> I got knocked back a bit <laughs> recently yeah. with my femur. And, and I think that has shown me that. You don't need to always be busting out and going crazy. And and I get it. And yes, there's this documentary now that with a big theme of that where people are like, hello, you're old and what what the hell are you doing? And I and so it's taught me a lesson for sure, but but it it hasn't it hasn't uh dimmed that spark. Right. Like, I wanna, you know, I wanna get back out there and do a lip slide. Wow. It's like you saying you'd be doing comedy even if it wasn't successful. He'd still be skateboarding if he wasn't yeah. successful. Yeah. Well, I did it when it wasn't successful. Right. <laughs> yeah, a yeah. couple times. A lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe more than now. <laughs> That's a good point. I mean, was that painful for you, like back in the day when you were a kid? Like, because I remember, I mean, I wasn't there, but just doing research over the years, you know what I mean? You know, like a lot of those, like, um, you know, street guys and stuff were saying that he's, you're more too technical and this and that, and you're trying to prove yourself to these people. Do you still yeah. have that insecurity? Um, not really. No, because skating has come to a point where it's much more diverse with styles and with tricks and whatnot. Yeah. And I just have more confidence. Like I know that a lot of the tricks I did are they're hard. They're good. Like and and I can do them now without looking like I'm gonna die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <And> that, <laughs> that's important, yeah, you yeah. know, to have that sort of style where you can throw something down and then and then land ready for the next thing. Mm. Um, 
And so I think I've, it, it took me a long time to, to come to terms with that or to actually feel good about it. Mm. But, um, but I still, you know, I still have that drive. And, and I think that, that that's the obsession. Yeah. Borderline addiction. Yeah. Speaking of addiction, what? you said you're a recovering guy and you're a comedian. And a lot of comedians drink a lot. Or at least afterwards, it's, you're at a bar for one. Mm. Is that has that been a well? I'd I like to disagree with you. They they don't do that. No, no, no. They do. Okay, right? but that you you know you have those right. But then you have so many guys that you wouldn't even you're not even aware of that have like 20, 30 years of sobriety. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, and I know who those people are in New York. There's a ton of them. I don't want to out them because you know they're the anonymity and stuff. But it's like really great comedians that are famous, that are killing it, that have been sober for a very long time. Even in LA, because I just went to rehab two months ago. Do you know that? What? No. Yeah. Why? I relapsed. What'd you get on? Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, you, you brought it up, so. <laughs> it just, it just seems so. I know, I relapsed. Oh, okay. so when did I see you guys? Where's the Before that? Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seems like it's been a little while. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was yeah, loaded you took when some time I was, off. I was loaded when you guys were at my house. Really? Loaded yeah, I, on what? Well, here's the thing, okay? Can I just explain myself? You didn't seem loaded. No, know. I wasn't loaded at the time, right? But around it, I was doing it. So here's the deal with me, okay? Okay. All right. Um, I only did alcohol and marijuana. Okay. Okay. But, um, you know, I, in, in my life, I had 31 years of sobriety, collectively. Oh, not in one shot? I had 13 at one point, yeah. 17 at one point, a year and a half at another point. Okay? Wow. Okay, so it's like, you know, I've been in a large chunks of sobriety, right? Yep. So it's like, when I go out, I go crazy, all right? Okay. But the problem with me now is, is that, you know, when I, like, like when, you, you, when somebody takes an edible, right, they do, what, 20 milligrams maybe, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't know. I was doing like 1,000, 2,000 milligrams a day of edibles mm -hmm. and drinking 24 hours a day. But what happens with me is, is that when I get, get high, especially with weed, the opposite thing happens because I have OCD and um, ADHD. And also, um, I have a lot of trauma that um, marijuana does the reverse effect. So I can't sleep or eat. Oh. And I get oh, wow. riddled with anxiety, right? And so… I wouldn't sleep for weeks. I mean, ask my girlfriend. I mean, like, there were, you know, I was seeing sleep specialists, all kinds of stuff. And, um, and then you quit smoking weed and you go to sleep again, just like that. Yeah, well, no. I mean, I, then, I, then I started vomiting and coughing up blood. Oh, Wait, my what? God. Wait, what are you, are you… Are we still talking about marijuana? Well, because I smoked for so long. Cigarettes for so long. Since yeah. I was 17. I'd smoke a pack a day, right? Yeah. So I was smoking so much weed and so much cigarettes, right? That eventually I started hawking up gigantic chunks of like blood, like curdled blood. Yeah, but I see. I, I heard that episode. You went to the doctor and they said it's you're okay. There's nothing. Well, that was what happened. Was then right when that happened, like a week after that, Bob Saget died, yes. and then Louis Anderson died. They're they're both friends of mine, right? right. And then. I just, because I was so high all the time and so riddled with anxiety that I just start, started thinking, I'm dying because yeah. of the blood in my, in my lungs, right? And rightly so. That would seem to, <laughs> yeah. that would seem to follow, yeah. I know. And I don't I, think if I ever coughed up blood, I'd be like, eh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we're good. Yeah, I, unless I just recently hit my body incredibly hard, because I yeah. have spat up, spat up blood, but I knew why. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I still have to go to the hospital. Yeah. And I would like take so any, photos of blood and send it to my girlfriend, and she'd just oh be like, "You're dying." You know what I mean? This is wait, she say you're dying? Yeah, because she's a nurse. She was a trained nurse, so she's like, "You gotta go." You know, we we gotta do something. So, so you go. No, what happened was I no, I didn't you go. You don't hospital. go. No, just listen, right? So uh, the first thing I do is just fucking listen, man. It's hard, man. I know. So the so then I I literally thought I was dying, and I couldn't leave the bed, like uh. I, for weeks, right? So then what happened was. I remember, yeah, I mean, I couldn't, like, I would have, I'm on a show called Inside Job, which is an animated show on Netflix. Yeah. And I would cancel those sessions because I just couldn't leave the house. Like, I couldn't do it, right? And so they sent me to um, a place, a rehab, right? And then when I got out, I got lung x-rays done. But I quit smoking there, cigarettes, all drugs and alcohol, porn. 
Corn's gone. Why? Every, what? Does, that, does that make you cough blood? <laughs> yeah. How much corn do you have to watch yeah, them doing cough blood? <laughs> Uh, no, uh, Six no. degrees of separation. <laughs> How do we get that? No, no, no. No. no, the porn was. Um, it's an addiction, right? And yeah. it's like it, it's it's there for me to escape. Like I, honestly, like. All right, I'll just be honest with you. Yeah. Um, the porn was affecting my sex life. Because with, with my girlfriend. I don't want to ask any more I don't, questions. Yeah, no, 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 I, I, you can I, leave I, it at that. That's no, fine. No, I, 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 I'm a, I, I'm an open book. Are you? No, what, what am I? Am I don't want to do I, it. No, don't do it. That's the me. wrong show. You should come on my show and I'll ask you. <laughs> yes, all right, yes, all right. Yes. So anyway, um, it just it, it, the intimacy of it. Okay. Right? Yep. Like be connecting with pe- with my girlfriend in that way. You know what I mean? Because women want to feel connection. They want intimacy and Especially your health. girlfriend. Especially your girlfriend, right? So and I wasn't doing Particularly. that. Particularly. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay, guys? So, so then I… When I… So I have two and a half months of… Um, no cigarettes, drugs, alcohol, porn, or any of it. You know. And how do you feel? I feel pretty good. Good. How's your lungs? What the doctor I, told dude, you were so, good, right? So they looked at my lungs, clear, and um, did you say what it could be then? No, he was just basically saying you were smoking so much cigarettes, smoking oh. so much weed, right? That your just lungs were like scarred. You, yeah. know I mean? you know what I mean? And wow. Yeah, and it's just not. And also, when you do it for since I was seventeen, I was smoking cigarettes. And you know, I love Leonard Nimoy. Yeah, what's that? You know who Leonard Nimoy is? No, Star Trek. Star Trek. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You don't know Leonard Nimoy? I do now. I mean, I did. Who did he play? Who did he play? Spock. Yes, I like it. All right, right, very good. Right, Leonard Nimoy. I'm here. When he was 50, right? But then he died later from a lung complication, right? So, in my head, I was just like, I'm 50. I gotta quit now. Yep. And I'm just done with it. You know, I I, I don't wanna die. I have too much to do. Can you yeah. feel how, how it's affected your stamina? Oh my God, amazing, dude. I do Peloton now, I do hikes. You know what I mean? You I, skate, I skate, skate, I can skate, skate ramps, now. you do ollies. Yeah. Dude, like, I couldn't have done that two and a half months. And just, just uh, no I was, that's what that was, I was getting. I was wondering if <laughs> there's no fucking way. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 20 more pounds. It's a lot, man. Like, when people lose 20 pounds, it's a lot. 25 pounds. I lost 25 pounds, man. It was insane. I, um, I've looked. I like. I I weighed this when I was 24. Yeah, I you know heard on your show. You yeah. said that you were down to. You stood on the scale and you got to 159, and that's something that you weren't. Well, yeah, for some. Yeah, since yeah, since I was like 22, 23. 22. Right, yeah, it's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. And I um, I have all my lung capacity back. I don't cough. You know what I mean? I feel energetic. I can smell things. You know, I it's it's been. A real life change. House probably smells better too now, right? No cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Your girlfriend yeah. doesn't smoke, right? No, she doesn't smoke. No, oh. she's very, very healthy in that way. But um, it really did like, and also, it changed my comedy. In what way? Well, um, I'm on because I went to these places. I went to two places when I went to rehab. I went to a psychological place too, and um, they prescribed me um some medications for my ADHD and my obsessive, obsessive compulsive behavior. Yep. And like, you know, I, I'm like Howie Mandel. Like I have to touch things mm-hmm. three times and stuff. Stuff like that. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> and so um, the, I'm on a little bit of medication for it. And, and being sober and being clear in that way and also along with the medication, um, I feel better than I've ever felt in my whole entire life. Awesome. You mean so in comedy it opens you up to more material? It's not just that. It's like if you watch me before perform before, it's a it's a lot of I'll just act like just I'll just act out the energy. <laughs> you know, it, it was like energetic and just constant, right? And now it's just more like taking my time and being clear with the setups because a lot of times I'd be so fast. Oh, that yeah. you, people wouldn't even understand what I was really even saying sometimes, yep. you know what I mean? And now it's like everything's just much more slowed down and clear. And it's um, also, it, it, I can think of more things on stage to say, yep. like improvise and stuff. Yeah. It really is, um, it's been a life changer. And I always thought that it was going to, any kind of medication would have affected my art or whatever. Yeah. But it hasn't. In fact, it, I it feel helped. like it helped. Yeah. yeah. And it's, um, so it's been amazing. I don't know what's going to happen in the near future, but I honestly believe that I, I feel like I'm on the right path. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that wasn't good. What the way you were doing that? That's no. not good. No. I um you know, I still have issues, you know, with you know, I have daddy issues. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Do you really? Yeah. yeah. I had a pretty bad run too. With your dad? Was he abusive? All the way all your through your childhood? Yes. Yep. Do you do trauma therapy or anything like that? I did. I used to go to therapy every week and uh-huh. see a person for a long time. Yeah, yeah. But I mainly did that to try my relationships when it came to women just kept the same outcome would inevitably occur. Uh. And then I realized that it can't be them. It's me. So then I went to therapy because I really wanted to stay with my wife. Mm. And that was, to be honest, that's the only reason I went. Cause I was like, I don't really care about being that fixed, but if she's going to leave me, I'll go. Mm. So then I go and it was like really tough. I mean, I had to do a lot of, uh, a lot of, I had to make a, a lot of apologies and I still feel like and there's a lot of stuff that, the way I treated people without really thinking just because I'm stuck in my own head all the time and reacting to things that not necessarily are the actual problem. I'm reacting to stuff that happened a long time ago. Yeah. But now that I know that, not cured, uh-huh. but I have got a lot better and I'm a lot happier with my day-to-day existence. So, but if I ever get rocky, I call that guy and start seeing him again. I just am in a good spot. Your dad's name is Frank, right? Yeah. He, yeah. He passed away in 1995. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, but was he, do you, I mean, did you? He wasn't abusive to no, me. No, no, he, no, he was no, no, no. super supportive of my yeah, skating. Yeah, yeah, he just yeah. wasn't warm. He wasn't loving. He, uh, yeah, yeah. But that could hurt too, though. You know, oh, for as sure. A kid, it you it know affected I mean? my, all my relationships. I, and I, but I hate, I hate trying to place the blame on him. I should have figured that out earlier on in my life. Right. But like Jason, I was with my wife now, Kathy, and I didn't, I, you know, I knew that it was the best thing that ever happened to me in a relationship. And I had to go figure that out. Separately. On your own, yeah. On yeah. my own. Yeah. yeah. Well, through therapy or something like that or just… Th- through therapy, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Intense, yeah. Like intense therapy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. And Did then, you go away somewhere yeah. or… Oh, cool. Yeah. I've done that too. Probably in Arizona. <laughs> it's, always, it's always in Arizona. <laughs> it's such a hot spot. <laughs> no, it's a hot spot for therapy. It's not like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, wow, so you had to do that fucking work as well. I did, yeah. But it was, it was also the same thing where it was just like… I know every, all the pieces are here for your amazing future. Yeah. But you have to, it's just like, or like Jason said, the problem isn't them, yeah. it's me. And so why can't you just figure this out? And, and um, but, but a lot of it though is, you know, you're right in that way, but it's also, but when you're a kid and you're not listened to and supported in the right way and you don't see warmth, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that kind of stuff, that does affect you, right? Sure, as an, yeah. And as an sure. adult. Yeah. So, you know, it's, you know, I mean… I think my dad was trying to show his love through his actions of, like, supporting and driving me and doing… You know what I mean? Right. But it was yeah. never it was never spoken or shown in a different way. It was always it's funny. Just like, like, you knew that his dad loved like him. Like, he's trying. Yeah. So he's, like, I knew my dad loved but me. He was in the, but he, he was in the Navy in World War II. It, like, you know? he, you know, he had no… And then his dad bailed… And he was raised by like his sisters and all right. Yeah, it's cyclical. Yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah. very cyclical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, it, with the with the drive, it can be changed. Like I feel like people that have a lot of drive, like to me, I was like, you're a pile of a person, but you're really good at this, this, and this. You don't really practice trying to be a better person or more understanding. You practice these things, and look how good you got at them. I'm like, what if I put that effort that, into this? Yeah, exactly mm. that. And 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 with the efforts that people like us have, it's a really yeah, good effort. We, we're very determined. <laughs> yeah. And we persevere in one aspect of our lives. We yeah. need to translate that to others. Yeah, I had to point it somewhere else for a little yeah, bit. Exactly. But, I, I, but I've always wanted to explore what makes… Because it's like, you know, there's something within us, right? That has that thing of like, I, we, you know, we focus on one thing. But the thing that we do focus on is healthy, but also difficult. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like, you know, if everyone had that, right, I think this world would be maybe a different place even because I think people in this world are just, they just live in this fear, yeah. right? And they don't want to try things. They don't want to, you know what I mean? They don't think things are, can happen for them. Because they haven't, they haven't, once you do it one time, yes, you know you can do it in other things. Yeah, yeah. So I, I kind of want to like, from now on, encourage people just to try anything really. You know yeah. what I mean? Because I'm just like, you know, I just see the world so fucking sad and people so miserable. You know what I mean? Yep. And it's just like, you know, we're just not taught to 
support each other and to like encourage people to do shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's hard. What you, you talk about that, how, especially when I've seen skating, I've seen people with the most natural abilities where it's just easy for them. Yeah. And they're not motivated. They don't want to push it. And, and it's, it's harder being in the role of being their team manager or their sponsor where you're more excited for their right. career than they are. And you can't pull them out. Like it has to come from within. And it's so, it's, it's been really disheartening through the years to see a few people where it's like, you could have it all. Right. Could, it, and it wasn't even hard for you. Yeah. Do you think it, then it's hereditary? For sure. Um, and, but also your experience as a kid. Sure. You know, but it's, it's like Tony yeah. said, there comes a point in your life when you get to an age where you're like, well, I know that there was some bad things that happened that might've scarred me, but I'm mature enough to make an adjustment right now and grow the fuck up. Like, it's no longer their fault. Like, I'd be yeah, like, I don't oh, want to so, be stuck in that cycle. Yeah, you can change it. Yeah. I got kids, so it was way easier for me because I'm like, if I don't change, they're going to grow up like me. And I don't want that. Yeah. So huh. I'm happy. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Well, you're an interesting guy, dude. You know what I mean? Sometimes. So are you. Yeah, I was going to say. so? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Well, I feel like I'm, I'm fascinated. I, I mean, I, I, my experience with you was when we did Matt TV back in the day, yeah. Jeez. And um, <laughs> watching you and watching Will through the years. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. Will was part of it. Yeah. Um, Will was over at my house. Yeah. Will, Will is. Will Sasso, you guys both told me how, what a fan you were of the game. Yes. But, but to a point where you were obsessive, you're like, no, I can do, like, I'll kick your ass with scores. Like, uh, I, I got all the combos and I got everything. The de okay, so when the very first Tony Hawk 1 demo came out, yeah. it was just the warehouse, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where you could play, right? I'm not kidding you. I played that 16 hours a day for like four months until the fucking game came out. Yeah. Like, I was, I could do, like, like, everyone around the house was, like, so amazed. I could, like… You know, the fucking railings on top, yeah, yeah. right? And spin around that fucking thing. And it just all that shit, dude. It was fucking incredible. Just combo after combo. Yeah, because you, you just, you, you, because I just have always loved the sport, you know what yeah. I mean? But it's like, you know, I mean, I'd watch all the, the videos and, you know, be obsessed with certain companies and this and that as a, because I grew up in San Diego, you know, but when that game came out, it was just like, oh my God, this is fucking amazing. But I just played the, I've been playing again, like I said, the one and two, the re, what are you, the, the one that you just, the remastered, out, yeah. the remastered ones. They're so fucking great, man. There's so much to do. What but system? PlayStation 5. Okay. I'm not judging. I'm I, just just saying, I didn't even know you could get judged on that. I got, I got a, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, some a, people still have I a got them all, so. Is there an you, incorrect? You have five? Yeah. You have the new Xbox too? Yeah. Wow. Do, what games do you play? Uh, I just play… I just finished um, It Takes Two with my wife. Have you played that with your girlfriend? Is it a horror movie? Is no, it a horror game? It's pretty amazing. What is it? It, it? It's a game where you have to collaborate. You both have to… You have to have two players. Okay. And you work together to, to finish these challenges. And, and you're basically… You've been miniaturized. It's like a whole storyline of <laughs> yeah. this couple that's possibly getting divorced and their daughter who's traumatized by it. And they have to sort of… And they get shrunken into stuffed animals and they have to survive their way through the house to get back to their daughter. I know. It's out there. No, but, I like it. Yeah. But the challenges are insane. And she and I played it. And, and so all of our kids are, all except one, are in college uh, or, or moved out of the house. So when my daughter would be busy at nights, we would just go to the couch and play that game uh -huh. until we finally finished it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's super fun. Well, is the I, feel like I'm, I feel like I'm doing an ad for it now. Like, <laughs> is the screen split then? Or yeah. do you have to have the screen is split? Oh, sometimes, yeah, it's, it's, sometimes it's combined if you're just going, you're scrolling sideways. Um, so you need two controllers? Two controllers. All right. And so, so one time I, I was busy doing my rehab stuff and I come in and my wife is on the couch with both controllers like this. <laughs> Are you doing it by yourself? Uh -oh, you're She's like, I just want to get past this one level. <laughs> Ew. Wow. How yeah. selfish. <laughs> you play games? Cool. Not really. Why? I just got busy. Yeah. I got a lot of other stuff that I don't have time to do that. But do you have a console? My son does. God, I'd love to play Warzone with you, man. Why Why would I be good at Warzone? I just think that you have a military mind. You really think so? <laughs> yeah. Think he's going to strategize? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I feel I like he just goes guns blazing. I'm pretty charger. He's coming in hard. Yeah. yeah. No, because a lot of the characters in Warzone have Australian accents. <laughs> What's up oh with that? God. I don't know why, but they just do. Why do Australians want to do that? I don't know man? why they do it. But no, the characters are like when you hear them talk. 
Is it because we sound tough and if you add that, then it makes that guy tougher or something? No, you guys- uh, People I, think Australians are tough. Not only tough, but you guys are- Well, first of all, you guys are the criminals of England, right? Right, yeah. Right, right? Good so. point. Oh, yeah. That yeah. Whole thing. <laughs> My mum's <laughs> mum stole some bread or whatever. Yeah, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That whole thing. And then also, secondly, I don't know why you guys just look like you, you, you're good at black ops and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Maybe they are. I'm American. I've been here long. I've been talking. And people from Australia hear him talk. They're like, dude, that guy's not Australian. Really? Oh, yeah. Big time. Mate, have you heard yourself? Oh, 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 oh. I'm like, yeah, I'm talking right now. You fucking lost it, Chase. You fucking lost it. Oh, you really? have to, your mouth comes out. I grew up with people like that. Yeah. Fuck, how are you, mate? Hey, you good? Yeah, that good one. Can you do an Australian accent? He does the sick one. Uh, not him. Yeah, Barely. Let me try it. I want to learn. Oh. This is a guy. Oh, mate, g'day. Oh, Mike, hello. How are you? Pretty good. How, How are you, are you Mike? You? you good? How are you? you good? You good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the way. <laughs> that, yeah. That's the way. He, he says that's bullshit real good. Oh, yeah? Your bullshit, mate. Oh, that's good. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. I do cheeseburger and beer. So we imitate each other's accents. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm Tony Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good, huh? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Wait, is it hard? Oh, man, I love doing comedy, mate. A lot. <laughs> have, so, you ever, have you ever done stand-up? No. <laughs> Please do. Please do. No. Yeah. I, do, I do speaking gigs. Yeah, he does. Oh, like TED Talks? I, I, You've done like, that, like corporate speak. Like, I'm on the speaking gig circuit. In fact, I just went to Billings, Montana last week. Wow. And talked in front of like 1,500 people. And um, I think I've learned, I've learned the cadence and like, and, and somewhat comedy. Like in my stories, do you know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah, I know yeah, I know yeah. how to sort of turn it where I, this is an interesting story. I hope this is an interesting story, but but I've got a comedic ending to it, yeah. right? Um, and I've learned. I guess I've I've felt a portion of what you guys have felt when the laughter comes back. You're like, oh yes, <laughs> yeah. Especially when you know it's they're supposed to laugh at it. Yeah, yeah. I hate it when yeah. I say something. I've had tough crowds too. Oh where yeah, it's just like <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you you must feel. Like in the beginning when you started doing, you must have been oh, really nervous. Oh, so nervous. And, and just, you know, okay. Almost like notes of chapters. Okay, talk about, all right. Now we're going to talk about the first time I skated. Okay, then the, the sponsorship. And, and, you know, it was so formulaic and, and probably disjointed. Yeah, yeah. And now it, it, it flows a lot easier. And it was weird when I did it too. And whatever, I won't talk about me <laughs> this whole time. But it was weird when I did it because the, the, doc, the doc on HBO had just been released. Ah. Uh. So I'm going to tell my story. I'm like, I think a lot of these people have seen it now because a lot of them were saying that they had seen it. And I was like, I'm just going to retell the story, I guess, that you guys just watched on HBO. Yeah. Um, but I managed to to update it with my leg and other things. Right. You know? But you could also even talk about it that, right? Say that I know you guys already watched it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna yeah. I'm not gonna assume that, but I, I felt it. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. seems pretentious. I'm sure you guys have already seen the movie about me. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Oh, what else is there to say? Yeah, yeah. He's always gonna look out for shit like that. We don't catch it. Yeah. That's how I just get up and be like, hey man, I'm sure you know about me because I'm pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's uncomfortable for people. My bad, but seriously, you probably do. Have you done corporate comedy gigs? I've been offered them, but I, there's no way I can do it. Because Why? there's just too many rules. Okay. Sometimes I'll say like, you got to wear a suit or like something nice. Really? But why would they hire you? That's right. I mean, I know. It's but like, is it more is it more that they're worried you're going to offend the company? But there's nothing not, not by your dress, by by your comedy. Just if you look at my act, there's not a single joke in there that I don't think I can tell in front of, you know what I mean, suits. Six crowd. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? There's just not a single one. I mean, my opening joke is about, I have a five minute bit about Down syndrome. I mean, there's not, you can't talk about Down syndrome. Right. You know what I mean? Not in a negative way. That's, Obviously you know, I don't not. want people to, you know what I mean, get angry, but like the joke is funny in it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's in a positive light, but still it's like topic wise, like, you know, having sex and, you know, I have a bit about my girlfriend eating my butthole. Right. You can't do that at a Pepsi fucking corporation. Yeah, I'm going to steal that. <laughs> That's a good one. I don't even know how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're just going to riff on it. I, I have that experience. I'm going to make it a joke. Yeah, yeah. It's also like… Do you I, do private ones? Sorry, but do you do… Have you been hired by like a… a not a business, but like a, 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 fa a rich person that's like, I want you to do stand-up in my house. Is that… Yeah, one time recently, maybe two oh, years wow. ago, they, a, a millionaire or whatever goes, yeah. I want you and Theo Vaughn to play my backyard party. 
and it was like a lot of money, right? Yeah. And I've I ate I I remember I ate it so hard. You guys did it. We did it. I ate it so hard. I was sweating tears. What about out of Theo? my face? He ate it too, kind of. Because it, was it not a comedy crowd? Like, was the crowd like, oh, cool. No, there's a buffet. People are eating. People are talking. Right. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. a scene for he, comedy. Yeah. That guy was just so rich. And he's like, I want you in the corner of my backyard. That's yeah. like an episode of jokes. Silicon Valley. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was My terrible. good friend, Bobby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and right? yeah, yeah. yeah. One time I did a gig in Vegas. And there was this guy named Steve Shripa. He was on Sopranos. Yeah. Right? But before, he was the talent coordinator for the Riviera. Right? And he used to call me Ching. I don't know why. Mm. <laughs> Wait, did you take offense? No. Wow. At, back in the… It was probably the late 90s. So it's like… Well, because he learned it from Dice. Okay. Yeah, and Dice called me Ching because of Chiching money. But it just sounded racist. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Little bit. There's, a, there's a skate trick that we used to call Ching Ching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the sound your truck makes. Because when you do it, your truck kind of rattles and hits it. Yeah. And no one, no one calls it that anymore. Yeah. Yep. Um, I yeah. get it. But it's it's that it, it morphed into something it morphed, else. Yeah, it yeah. morphed into something. So it sounded weird. But anyway, he, he stripper called me. and Goes, hey Ching, you're Chinese, right? And I go, no. He goes, you are now. I go, what is it? He goes, I have a gig in Vegas. It pays five grand. All you have to do is 15 minutes, and it's for this Chinese businessman. So I go, all right, because I needed the money. So I went. I flew there, and I show up, and this Chinese guy comes. Cause I'm in the green room. Chinese guy comes to me. Goes. He speaks in some oh, Mandarin. Mandarin. Yeah, Mandarin. Yeah, Mandarin. I was going to say, right, did right. They, what, they expect you to do comedy in Mandarin? Yeah, and he goes, you speak Mandarin, right? And I go, I'm Korean. You said that. Yeah, and they go, oh, my, oh no, I don't know. I don't, you're right. Then they gave me a book, right? And a, the book had the face of this old Chinese man on it. And, and, the, and he was like doing this and that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who's that? It's, I'm supposed to be roasting this guy in Mandarin. And, and this is his biography. Here, here's his life. Read his life <laughs> and then t write jokes in Mandarin yeah, yeah. for him right now. Yeah, so then I call Sharip and I go, <laughs> the panic. Yeah. But, he, but he did tell you to be Chinese. In his defense. <laughs> I know, I know, in his is, defense. I know, but this is four days. That was four days before that he, there's no way to learn Chinese in four days. No. Right? So, yeah, Those so apps I'm, are <laughs> pretty good, but I don't know if they're that good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I was just like, he's like, just, just, just do your act. Just do your act, right? In English. Yeah, in England. Yeah. Right? So I didn't even know how big the place was, but there was like a thousand people there. And it was like this corporation of this Chinese man. And it was his birthday, right? His name was Simon something Chow, or I don't know what his name was, right? And now Stripper had already paid me. So I had the cash, and I had gone to the casino, and I cashed it, right? So I had the cash in my pocket, yeah. right? So I walk up on stage and they bring the man on stage. Oh, so you've got to yeah, tell him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, to his face, you got to. Yeah, so he's coming up. And I, I, I'm not going to do any jokes about him because I don't know the, I don't know him. You didn't read the book? I didn't read the book because it's all in Mandarin, right? So I'm just like. <laughs> Wait, the book was in Mandarin? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it, out it of here. It was like a bad dream. Yeah. It was a lose lose, right? Yeah. But I'm like, I need this money. I have to do it. Right? Okay. So I have to do 15. So I just do my act. To him? No, I don't even look at him. He's just on stage, <laughs> confused. Now he's just kind of looking around like, like he doesn't even know why he's up there. Yeah. Right? Are, are people understanding you in the audience? No. <laughs> no. So this is what happens. Holy oh shit. My God. So this, this is, is a new level of uncomfortable. So this is what happens. I, um, three minutes in, I'm doing jokes about smoking weed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all guys. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you know, you're, you're, yeah, you roll a joint, you know what I mean? And it was like, and all of a sudden, you could hear people clanking their silverware at the same time. Oh, no. Clank, In clank, protest. Clank, clank. Yes. Oh, clank, 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 clank. Right? Oh, that's hard. And I don't know anything about the culture or whatever, but I'm, my gut said this is not good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not a cheer. It's not a cheer. It's not like <laughs> more jokes, Bobby Lee. More jokes, Bobby Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. It was more of a hostile. Shut up, Bobby Lee. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. It yeah. was hostile. Wow. It was hostile. It's very rude. But what happens to me when I bomb or when that happens, I get extremely defensive. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, a rage <laughs> you get, comes You get out. combative. Yeah, I get combative. Like now it's like me taming an animal.
You're trying to get back at them. Well, no, I now know this is, I can't finish. My gut says, you can't finish It's off the rails. It's off the rails. And my rage is coming out, right? So I just fucking pull out the cash, right? I go, fuck you, mother... I like, you know what I mean? I already got paid, bitches, or whatever, right? And I slam the mic. I walk out, right? And I scurry back to my hotel room. So this is what I hear. This is what happens. I'm sitting there going, okay, okay. And I get the phone rings. (laughs) And it's Shripa. He goes, leave town. Oh, Oh, really? They're coming to get you? the mafia. Well, so I had heard that he was associated with the mafia because he's, oh, he was on the show Sopranos. Sharepa was, right? Yeah. So it's like, you know, he always had rings and, you know, he's Italian, big, big guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I, but what, I don't understand the connection to the birthday party or the, well, I mean, he, he booked it, right? And, and now they they're ca- yelling hit at him what I did. Fuck you. I got paid. Right. So he just, he just said, leave town. Is he coming after you? Or? I don't know why. I don't know why he says it. Someone's coming after you. Is I, what no, he tried I, to say. I, that, that, I, I, what I, what I got from it was to leave town. Yeah, that's it. Doesn't matter. I don't There's give a, a fuck. No questions. My asked. flight was the next day. I went to the airport then, and I slept at the fucking airport. Smart, right? Yeah. So cut to. <laughs> Wow. I feel so much better about yeah. my comedy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, it's never going to get that bad. You didn't, well, you, you, just, you didn't have to pay those dues. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't pay any. So get I cut to that. years later now, right? I'm on that TV. Okay. And when you're on a show, you do this thing called, you know, there's the upfronts, right? Yeah, so it's yeah. like every year, the networks have a week in New York. In New York. Where they introduce to the ad agencies, you know what I mean? their upcoming lineup and their new shows and stuff. And they have stars of the shows come yeah. to make appearances. Like, oh, Mad TV's coming and I'm on it. And- yeah, oh, yeah. and you meet the, the executives. No, it's, yeah, you meet the executives and also there's a gigantic stage where they go, they just are eight o'clock spot, this show. Yeah. And then the cast will walk up, wave. Oh. It's, ESPN, yeah, it's- ESPN made me do that once. Not made me, but but asked if I would do it. And I, and I was booking your trip to New York anyway, so I did it. And they're like, yeah, you're in the upfronts, the ESPN, because they did the skate park tour. Oh, okay. So it's like, here's the new programming, the skate park tour. Like, yeah, yeah, we'll be on tour. <laughs> and you just stand on stage. Yeah, that's, weird. that's it. That's it. It's awkward. Yeah. No talking. They don't ask. Well, yeah, I mean, you give a little synopsis, but, right. but yeah, it's for yeah. them to sell ads around it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 the, and the audience is filled with ad people. It's like hundreds and hundreds of people. Okay. Right. It's a real awkward place, but it's a free trip. It's first class, and you stay at a really that, nice hotel. That, it's really nice, nice right? Yeah. And you're around stars, yeah. I guess. You know what I mean? Sounds so cool. It feels okay. fun, right? I'm in. So I board the plane on LAX. Um, first class. I never fly first class. You know what I mean? So I'm excited. I get the window seat, and from my peripheral vision, I see Steve Shrepa sit next to me. Your peripheral wow. vision. Next, he's <laughs> yeah. next to you. Yeah, yeah. Well, That's not mean, peripheral vision, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, but from my eye, because I never looked directly at him. I just knew just by like this, that yeah. was him. And obviously now, your heart's, you know what I mean? <gasps> oh, you think he's going to kill you? I just think, he, I don't want to have that conversation. Like, what the fuck happened years yeah. ago? Yeah. You know what I mean? You know How what many mean? years had passed? Seven, eight years. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Statue of limitations. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't get that mad seven <laughs> years yeah, later. Yeah, 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 but yeah, what yeah. I did was, the whole <laughs> flight, I put the blanket over me. <laughs> And wait, I, oh my you didn't God. talk to him? No. And he didn't talk to you? Well, just wait, wait, wait. So I put the blanket over me and I pretended to sleep the whole trip. I Not asleep. Pee. I had to pee the first five <laughs> minutes I was on the fucking flight and I held it for six hours. <laughs> All right. It was fucking terrible, right? You ruined your first class it was, flight. It was terrible. It yeah. was fucking terrible. You didn't even get to see thirsty. first class. I couldn't class. even get the drink yeah. or the meal or anything. <laughs> I just pretended to sleep the whole time, right? Because I'm such a coward. Couldn't you? I'm a coward, right? I was going to say, it would have been so easy to make amends, I feel like. I know, I know. In I think he wasn't going to kill you. I don't think the blanket saved you. So this is what happens. Yeah. Now we have to leave the flight. Yeah. So I just went, oh, fuck. It just, it's going to happen. I pee. I, 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 this is terrible. Yeah. So I just kind of take the blanket off, right? And I kind of look, and he looks right at me and goes, uh, Bobby Lee! And he gives me a hug. He didn't know it was you the whole time. No. I had the blanket over Man, me. Man, like he this. blanketed well, I guess quick. He, yeah, 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 yeah. I blanketed quick, right? Man, he literally he like served get on the plane he, and was like, oh. He had no idea because he was now at that time not the talent creator. He was a star. He was a 
one of the cast members of The Sopranos. Oh, okay. Right? So he's got a completely different life. He never, rem- a guy like that doesn't gonna remember something like that. He didn't bring it up. No, he never brought up nothing. And you didn't? No, why would I? And you were tortured for six hours. Yeah, I was tortured for, I almost fucking died, man. Yeah. <laughs> At crystallized fury. Yeah, in my you fucking can't hold that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's very it dangerous. Fucking terrible. Yeah, what so- lesson did we learn there? To, to confront. To confront. There you go. To confront. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're and, growing. Yeah, to We're grow. Growing. Yeah, and also just to even honestly, Tony, it, it was even hard for, to for me to lock eyes with someone like you because I I'm a fan, a huge fan, right? You can lock eyes with me. I've noticed. I can lock eyes with you now. I don't care. Oh, but, you've got uh, you got past him. You, Good. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, yeah no, I know. Yeah, you're not that scary. But um, yeah, no, I've I'm learning to do it. But like, I'm so non-confrontational. Yeah. Like, if I want to break up with a girl, this is what I do. Hide in a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> no, until they go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, breaking up with you. No, I behave through time so badly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it, it'll take a year or two, right, for them to break up with me. Right. Right. I did that. Yeah. So I, you know, but now <laughs> I know yeah, that's yeah. Un, it's a, unhealthy because yeah. you're wasting years. But now the last girlfriend I broke up with, I looked her right in the eyes, and it was so uncomfortable. And I got this is not working. And she was so devastated. But you know, I mean. You learn to do that through time, but my MO has always been don't confront, yep. right? And just let things just evaporate through time. It's just a waste of time, really. Yeah. 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 Well, you're wasting everyone else's time, too. Yeah. Yeah. You're wasting their time. Yeah. I get that. I hate that whole. Have you, that... bom- have you bombed yet? Uh, I, 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 not like people make it out to, like, I hear stories where I go, oh my God, that sounds so bad. Like, everybody that, wanted that you one. to, yeah, like this that one. Example number one, right? <laughs> yeah. Here. Get him off. Get him off. Like, no one's, no one's ever agreed in, the, in, a, in a single chant to get me off. Yeah. That would be different. But I've had, like, I did big Jay Ogerson stuff in Ontario the other day, and every set was the best I'd ever done. And that was, I was, I finally was like, oh my God, I've, this is something I could really get uh, addicted to, like this whole being funny thing. And then I go to Ha Ha's on Sunday and it's the late Sunday night crowd. And it's not, they don't think what I said on fucking Saturday is funny. <laughs> and I'm like, but I just said it yesterday. Yeah. And then when I, I like, I, I those are the crowds. It bummed me you out. You have to constantly go in front of. Right. That's what I do. Yeah, yeah. You have the shit crowds and the hard crowds is what, because you don't learn yeah. from killing. Right. You, you don't tell. learn from doing well. You learn from bombing. Well, then I'm doing it because I, I, I leave very, because it's weird. My wife goes to sleep, so I usually get there home by myself. And when those things happen, I just don't feel like they're worth telling anybody. So I just sit there by myself and go, man, you could have said that. Oh, man, why did you say that? <laughs> I can't believe that one guy just wouldn't fucking laugh at me. Like, what do I, what do I got to do? And I'm like, and then, and then usually I'll suck. And then the, the, somebody who's established will come out and I go, yeah, yeah. Like that. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I want to do it yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, and then I'm in the car fucking, you can't do it. You can't do it. Maybe you should just fucking quit before you even start. You fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. And then I have these crazy arguments so with myself. You torment yourself. Yeah. 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 Stop doing that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because but it kind of helps because I, just choose and not do that. I'm like, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for pointing out that it's impossible. <laughs> I know. Stop doing it. Yeah. No, it's because, uh, you know what? You I don't used, do that? No, I used to go on a, to auditions. And oh, if I had a bad it. audition, I would take a bottle of water and smash my fa- face with it. So like sometimes I would bleed, like I would punish myself. Yeah. But I do that also mentally. I used to do that yeah. mentally to myself. That's, that's what I like, do. But it's like, you, you, it's just like, it's unhealthy. Agreed. And you can't punish yourself. I see for, what? We see skaters doing that. I was going to say, I learned this from skateboarding. skateboarding. I uh, I was doing something recently um, and we were talking about skating and the process and, you know, rage quit and all that. And this this girl said, are you one of those guys that hits themselves in the head with the skateboard? No. No? I never. She goes, well, I dated a guy and I saw him do that and I broke up with him. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Like, that's not going to go good for me. Yeah. I want to say, I didn't do that, but there might be video of me like ramming it into my head <laughs> until it breaks in half. So I can't say that. But I used to really lose it Yeah, with when I couldn't do stuff. But I also felt like it, it helped. Like sometimes in skateboarding, it gets scary. And then if I get angry, then I don't care what happens to me. 
and then I can just get about my business. Like if it's a bit scary and I can't, it's like, oh shit, it's gonna be close. If I'm angry, I'd be like, good, I like it close. Like, let's mm. see if you get hurt. But if I'm like, oh, I'm not sure, then I'll hesitate. Did you, did you learn any lessons from the, the hitting with the bottle? I learned that I was punishing myself like my dad would when I was a kid. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like you didn't do it right. You didn't mm -hmm. do it right. It yeah. wasn't perfect. And what I realized through time, especially in this last couple of years, um, I'm just not doing that shit anymore. It's just yeah. like I'm 50. I, um, I'm, I, every time I do a podcast, I perform or I audition or do anything like that. You know, like, I, I, you know, I'm on Sex in the City, the new one. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I, I'm doing scenes with Sarah Jessica Parker. I don't know much about the show. It's stressful, right? Yeah. And I had to remind myself, it's okay to make a mistake. Uh. You know, it's okay to fuck up a line. Mm -hmm. There's this one scene where I had to cross this. So, you know, I don't know. I know the show's popular. Like, it's just got a cult a following or whatever. Yes. And and um, so I was with Sarah and J Jessica Parker. And we had to cross the street. But the only way that we could start the scene is if the light turned green for us, the walk light. Mm -hmm. Because it's in the middle of the traffic. Oh, right? Okay. So I know that once I step on to cross is when you start doing your dialogue. And I had a lot of dialogue. And if you fuck up once, you have to start over and wait for that thing to fucking turn again, right? Okay. So I had put extra pressure on myself. Yeah. And also she she was just like, you know, kind of like she had to take a flight some, for somewhere. I just knew she this. She was rushed. So she, was, she had a hard out. Yeah, she had a hard out. And she wasn't saying anything, but I just knew all this information, right? And in that situation, like if I fucked up in line, I would I would have been like, fuck. Yeah, right. I'm so sorry. You know what I mean? And done that. But I had to just go, it's okay. Yeah. We'll get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And eventually we got it. You know what I mean? It was fine. But my point is, is that I just can't live like that because it hires your blood pressure. I could get a stroke. I mean, it's, you know what I mean? It's just, it makes everyone else freaked out. You know what I mean? And it's like, I I'm a human being and you know. I, I'm, I'm not gonna do things perfectly. Did she get mad at you? No, she loves me. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's no. There's no. You know. Um, I feel like she smells good. Oh my gosh. She, yeah, her teeth are so white. I bet. You know what I mean, it's just like <laughs> white, sophisticated skin. Right? You know Crazy. I mean? Like I did a movie with Kate. Blanchett. Was Matthew Broderick there? No, but I talked about him many times because I did like six episodes. So you know, I'll go. How's Matthew? How's he doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? But I did a movie last summer with Kate Blanchett. Yeah. And I looked at her skin. Right? Yeah. It's just so white and angelic. How'd she do that? I don't know. They just they're just born that way. You think? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah good yeah, for yeah. them. My must be cool to be angelic. Yeah, yeah. You know? Let me just can I touch your skin real quick? No. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch me. Are you verifying that he is angelic or that yeah, he's yeah, not? Yeah, yeah. You have you have rough skin? No. Nah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. It's a little weird, man. I have a what question. Is? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh you get you guys so you know obviously when you're killing live audience, um, and you've been podcasting long enough and successful in podcasting long enough. Do you know when you killed a podcast, even though it's not edited, there's no crowd? That's the hard part. So, um, like for instance, this one, right? How did we do? Did we kill it? Oh, this is I've had. I mean, all see, I base it on how I feel. Yep. Right. Number one, I don't know. Do you how think you'll hit yourself in the head with a bottle of water? No, on the no, way home? I, no. This was extremely fun. Right. Today was a magical day. I agree. Do you agree? I, yeah, it was awesome. I love it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's Shoot. so fun Great. to do, and I just feel like I'm gonna be friends with you guys. You know what I mean? That's what I feel like. But it's like, when no, are you gonna show Tony your butthole? I don't think I will because uh, I I'm not a colleague <laughs> in that sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, my, yeah. my bad. But at the ramp, you might yeah. show him. You guys are skate bros. You, there is a time and place right. Good point. for everyone. I, I did we the, don't do that. You can honestly say I've never done that to anyone on the ramp. Yeah, he hasn't. Yeah. I've never seen it. Or well, so really skaters anyone don't, in general. Well, skaters don't show each other their genitals and stuff? <laughs> Not as much as comedians do in my experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was, yeah, yeah. There was a, a trend of nude skating, 90s. Yeah. It was like one guy though, really, wasn't it? Uh, a couple. Oh, okay. A couple, yeah. But, but mostly him. Yeah. Would, would, would Lance Mountain show me his penis? Either? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. He good. seems like he would, though. No, no, that was a, you're really off. Uh, yeah, you're right. 
<laughs> he would be last. Let me ask you some questions. He would be me, last on the list. All right, let me ask you some skaters and you see if you, they would show me their demo. Shane O'Neill. This is the worst. Shane O'Neill. This is the worst <laughs> questions ever. Like, I, I kind of don't exist in skateboarding, but I still don't want to answer All them. Right, then like, they're going to watch we'll and be like, oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, be, nobody then, nobody. Yeah, they're touchy. Yeah, I like, think about no, no one that you would consider now that's a contemporary skater because they're so devoted to their craft. Yeah. They're not partying. They're not loose cannons. Yeah. yeah. That's what I noticed. It's like… It's a sport now. You look at like April skateboards with Shane O'Neill and um, Yuto Horogami. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, you're yeah, on fire. Yeah, Good yeah, yeah. No one's flashing each other. No, no. They, they're they very like… Shit, April skateboards is very clean cut. Right? Clean clothes. It's right? It's, it's, it's just the, the skill level is so it's insanely insane. high. It's so high. That they can't be doing anything else. Right. It's in, yeah. It, I'm, I'm, I went, I'm far away from nudity here, but I'm just saying like, those guys are machines. Yeah. And they're, they're on a, a level that is reserved for the highest, highest points of, of anything, like of, of what we do. Yeah, yeah, 100. I mean, you, even that, I, there's this kid, Jin Woo. I don't know if he, he, yeah. yeah. He just got hurt. I know, yeah, he just got yeah. hurt, yeah. But this kid- That kid's insane. He was 11 when I first started seeing him. Mm. And just the technical, it's just so technical and like advanced yeah. you know, for his age. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's he's, amazing. he's doing the hardest, the hardest flip tricks into blunt slides and then the hardest flip tricks out. Oh, okay. All the time. Yeah. Right. At, at 11, 12 years yeah. old. That's, that's it's a, insane. It's a bigger thing now than, than ever in skateboarding for little people to be insanely good. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's start it's really just almost startling almost. Yeah. There's a girl that it. we skate with here, Reese. She's nine. And she does she learn Ollie five forties. She just learned Ollie five forties. There you go. Uh, on Ollie five forty? What the what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry for No, starting. it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I actually talked to her mum the other day about my cuss because I was trying to trick and I let out a couple of F bombs. Yeah. And then I went over and sat down next to her and I was like, hey, am I like super <laughs> offensive to be here around your daughter? Yeah. And she's like, no, she hears stuff like that in the car. Like, it's okay. Yeah. And then they came over and made a joke about, uh, they bought my book and they have, I, I sell a t-shirt with it. It has my face on it. It says still awesome under it. And they were like, yeah, she was going to wear your t-shirt just to be funny at the ramp. But I'm like... <laughs> Wait, you haven't read the book, right? Like, don't <laughs> like, don't read bedtime, the don't, bedtime reading. Yeah, don't tell your daughter about anything in that book. Yeah, Chapter yeah, yeah. two. Who's that girl from she, Brazil? The girl, the young girl. That, Raisa. Yeah. Oh my god. Insane. Insane, dude. Yeah. yeah. Has really come into her own on, on strength too. So now she's got the strength and the tricks. She's unstoppable. Yeah. It. It. What, can I ask you a question about? I don't know. We talked about this last time about how you think the Olympics went. Um, I thought the park uh, events were 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 fun, yeah, were exciting, and and more what people expected from skating. I don't, I'm not a fan of the the format for street, the street league format, because it's just it's it's so based on tricks and attempts, and it's a lot of bail. Yeah. Um, and I just don't think that translates well to the crowd. I understand that it's more for the skaters. I understand that it's, it's it, it it provides more technical skating, but I don't think that's the format for of an event that's more mainstream. Yeah. When even when I found out a couple of years ago when they were gonna do the the skateboard was gonna be in the Olympics, yeah. I literally cried. Really? Um because you have to understand it, it, skateboarding when in the eighties when I first discovered and discovered you guys, right? Bones Brigade, all that stuff, you know what I mean? And Dogtown or whatever, right? It was a street thing. It was like a cool, like punk rock or like Tony Alva and Dreadlock. But do you cry because it was like, it was, it was breaking some sacred oath or you cried because you were happy for skateboarding? Happy. Okay. Sorry. Happy because it's like, number one, I understand like, well, like when you did 900 for the first time and like, you know what I mean? All these achievements, they're the greatest athletic achievements, right? It, on planet earth, I believe. In terms of technicality, in terms of like bravery and and just the sheer awesomeness of it, yeah. right? Even the street guys, just the evolution of that, yeah. right? You know, not just Rodney Mullen and his technical stuff, but like even that just evolved into just now kids are doing it and and just it it I want I've always wanted skateboarding to be something that like the world knew about as a legitimate you know, yeah. art. It's an art craft. It's art first. 
yep. and a sport. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. It's the combination. That's why of it's both. hard because it's subjective. So when you judge it, <clears throat> I think the the misconception too is that well now they're creating competition. I'm like, dude, we have been competing. I've been competing since I was ten years old. The competitions were the only places of gathering for the skaters. So that's where we did it, and that's how we were. That's how we succeeded at all. That's where we recognized. So they're not reinventing the wheel, um, but but still, it is very much more of subjective art form. So I think the coolest part, for me, the coolest part of the Olympics was when um, in the women's park, uh, Masugo was the favorite. Mm. She had the gnarliest tricks. All she had to do is make a run. She's going to win. She's going to get gold. Like, no question. And she bobbled on a couple runs. Her last run, she missed her second to last trick, uh, kick for Bindi, caught it dark side, tried to make it, fell, and ended up in fourth. <clears throat> When the event was over, all the other girls picked her up on their shoulders and carried her through the through the venue. That's skateboarding. Yeah, uh, that's amazing, right? Yeah, I, you know that's what I have noticed too. Is you know you don't really notice it unless you look for it. But it's like when usually like in other sports and stuff, people there's jealousy or whatever. But when you see a bunch of dudes watching their friend pull off a trick. And the joy that they feel for him, they go and hug him or yeah. give him a high five. You know what I mean? That's like I, I don't even see that in other sports, really. You know what I mean? You just you experienced know, it. Yeah, you that, just did it. Yeah, that was amazing. I was Take a little to- bit jealous. I was like, man, I hope you don't take my spot. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Never, dude. Never. Yeah. You're you're Jason Ellis, man. Right. Don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't try not to forget that. Okay. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Coming man. down here. Dude, you're a man of your word. You're a man of your word. Yeah. We hear a lot of people like, yeah, yeah, I'll come down and see you. Yeah, sure you will. Um, oh, no. And shredded. Yeah. Did also, it. I honestly, like, can I just say yeah, that yeah. What, what we did today, like teaching out Ollie and then the unexpected kick turn, I expected that to be an hour out of our day. Yeah. It was less than 15 minutes. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. awesome. And you have natural talent. Yeah. Thank you. you. Natural ability. I get, I get, Bobby why, Lee. I get why you are feel connected to skating. Because you obviously have that same mindset. And you could be a skater if you wanted to be. If you want me to teach your girlfriend MMA, I will. I know you probably don't want me to. No, but I want you to. I look like she, she looks like she's trying to get into it. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. I can totally help. No, she can do it. She needs it. Yeah, yeah, Okay. But then she probably beat you up. You know that, right? She can already beat me up. Does she try to? Yeah, well, we'll rust in the bed and she's got, she's got the length. Seems like that. It, all right. She seems like if she got really good, she would just choke you out every now <laughs> okay, and then. Okay, okay. I'm not sure if you want Thank that. You, thanks, man. Do you want okay. some Well, the offer stands for me to teach you how to skate so you can be a better skater than yeah, her yeah, yeah. And when she becomes a better fighter than you. Okay. I, want, I honestly do. Should guys, I her? I want to learn more. Right, so. Skating? I, yeah. yeah. I really, I, I Come down. I'm going to get my own board again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do all that. I'm gonna put the wheels and the trucks on it. You gonna go to the skate shop, get all excited? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get. Stuff. I'm excited. No, I'm gonna start doing it again. Good for you. Get a all helmet. Right. Yeah, I'll get a helmet. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Like and describe, and laugh. That too. <laughs>